What is up, Elon holders? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at you with the latest and the greatest on the Dog on Mars token, and we know that is gonna be ticker symbol Elon. Gotta let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is financial advice. Definitely remember, drop a big like on this video as it helps every single Elon holder out there get off to Mars just that much faster. And also do consider subscribing. I do NFT giveaways every single week right on this channel. It's actually going to be a giveaway winner at the end of this video. Will I'll be announced. So uh, definitely stay tuned to the very end of this video and I will announce one shortly. But we do know as we get into some dog on Mars news, we have held our rank very nicely, but we have taken a bit of a dip today. I'm going to explain to you in this video why it does... Um, appear that it has uh hit a pretty pretty extreme low of about three six zero three nine four one and that um is i'm um, pretty typical with the news that is out right now uh it is definitely um not surprising with the news that i will be announcing but first let's get into how we are looking uh it does look like we do have 137,654 holders. Very nice to see. Looking at our analysis, does appear 26% of people in the money is pretty, uh, it's about the same, same as usual. And uh, that's about it for uh, the news on the token uh, itself. But the reason that the entire crypto market is down uh, and has a extreme fear of of a 13 we have a 13 on the fear and greed index right now is because we did get a very very nasty inflation uh announcement today it looks like we have a 40 year high uh inflation of 8.6 percent we were hoping for it to go down i was honestly betting that it was gonna go down but um it, it there is just a lot of factors impacting this right now and for for this to be happening that is pretty unfortunate but for those who do choose to hold through this and dollar cost average through this that is the importance of dollar cost averaging especially in a bear market or bear cycle then you will ultimately end up with a nice prize with this will not last forever just like a bull run will not last forever but neither will a bear cycle I mean, do what you have to do to just maybe just turn it off and don't even think about it. If, if, but a lot of uncertainty is in the market right now. And uh, let's get into the article. It looks like stocks dropped on Friday after highly anticipated inflation report showed a faster than expected rise in prices and consumer sentiment hit a record low. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shed 730 points or 2.3%. The S&P 500 fell 2.5% while NASDAQ Composite sank 3.1%. The sell-off was broad with nearly every member of the 30 stock Dow in the red. Declining stocks outnumbered advancing ones in the New York Stock Exchange by roughly 9 to 1. Apple dropped 9.2 or 2.9% while Microsoft and Dow Incorporated fell more than 3%. Salesforce sank 4%. The drop for stocks mean, means the Wall Street is headed for yet another losing week entering Friday. The Dow was lower than 1.9% on the tra on track for its 10th week uh, in the past 11. This is brutal, absolutely brutal. Uh, and it I know that the u.s inflation really catches a spotlight these days but it's really taking over a lot of western countries a, a lot of uh, uh pretty much everywhere it, it is very rampant uh the pandemic did actually do a lot of damage so to speak with the amount of money that was printed and that was going to be expected a lot of people were saying that well mainly jerome powell was saying that the inflation would be transitory or temporary but it has proven to hit a 40-year high and a, and everybody that i was watching on youtube and uh, everywhere else was saying that this was going to happen and um yeah it's pretty unfortunate that it actually has happened but uh there is some positive news there is some light at the end of the tunnel though i mean we do have uh, a game-changing crypto bill being in uh, being p uh, proposed right now but not only that this is a bipartisan bill this is democrats uh and republican 
Republican Cynthia Lummis and Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand are working together on this. And uh, let's get into this article. This may be positive in the overall scheme of things. I mean, this is the kind of adoption we are looking for. We definitely are ready or uh, needing some framework for institutional and sovereign money to come into the market and i mean they will literally flood it with trillions of dollars and ultimately increase the price for everybody this is why i find this news positive so i wanted to get a, into a little bit here at least and explain if you didn't catch my last videos that i i tried to explain a little bit of what was going on after last week's route the crypto market turned mixed the price of bitcoin gained 1.6 percent and its budget price budge a few basis points higher than this this week cardano is up 22 percent xrp 2.5 percent solana up 3.6 percent on the bearish side dogecoin fell 3.5 percent bmb 3.4 terra luna 2.0 is staggering 40 percent wow meanwhile this past tuesday republican cynthia lummis and democrat kirsten gillibrand introduced what many call a landmark crypto bill named the responsible financial innovations act the bipartisan le legislation aims to finally clear up the biggest regulatory questions hanging over digital assets the bipartisan responsible financial innovation act is a landmark bill that will establish a regulatory framework that spurs innovation develops clear standard defines appropriate jurisdictional boundaries and protects consumers importantly the lummis gillibrand framework will provide clarity to both industry and regulators while also maintaining the flexibility to account for the ongoing evolution of the digital assets market this is huge this just proves that crypto is going nowhere so when you invest in a project that you believe in such as dog on mars or any project that you've done your research on you you believe in you understand what's going on with it you you know what you are investing to um, and you believe that it will last this recession and that is when you make your decisions to buy i mean look at the price tag right now uh and i i definitely still believe in the project that is my opinion a hundred percent and i want to uh announce that uh even though the markets are down we do have some giveaway winners we still have some positive things going on and instead of doing one giveaway winner i am going to be doing two today just just because uh i want to show love to the dog on mars community so i have picked two winners here we do have d not for you or d not you and john talmud so all right congratulations get a hold of me on my twitter and i will get uh some nfts that i just actually i just made these ones so uh, these are gonna be special ones and i'm gonna be sending them out to you guys for free so uh yeah get a hold of me and i will catch you in the next one